And already today, Brooks County School District, they are doing everything they can to keep kids safe. They sure are. ABC 27's Brittany Barnett joins us live at the Brooks County School District office. And Brittany, you spoke with district leaders today. Now, what kind of safety precautions are they taking for the school and the students? Well, district leaders here tell me that this morning a district wide tornado drill took place in every school, all in hopes of keeping students more aware of what to do in an emergency situation. It's reassuring to know that these teachers care and they love on our kids. For two years now, Leanna Pledger has entrusted the Brooks County School District to educate her children. I've got two kids in the school system now here. One of them is in fourth grade at North Brooks Elementary and the other one is in first grade at Quitman Elementary. Safety is always top of mind when it comes to her children. With severe weather coming this week, Pledger says she has total confidence in the school system's safety efforts. As far as safety measures go, we get remind messages and then we also get text messages and of course there's social media, so um, I, it's hard to miss any kind of important announcement they've got going on. There are over 2,000 students within six schools in the Brooks County School District. Wednesday morning, each school participated in a tornado drill to make sure all students, teachers, and faculty are prepared for any weather emergency, including a storm expected this week. Students learn to find their safe, their safe zones, um, be with their teachers and make sure that they knew the proper procedure, the proper um, position to be in in case something does happen um, so that they can truly be safe. Taking safety precautions ahead of the storm is a responsibility Williams and the school district take very seriously. Well, parents trust us with their children. They send them to us on a daily basis, and we want to make sure that they're safe. And as of now, all after-school programs in Brooks County are canceled, and students will be on an early release schedule on Thursday.